For the goal against his head. Pull the trigger now, he's dead. I am happy. Put it in the grill. What do you mean getting out of sweeping? I am happy. That little ginger bugger's given me two bob bits. Right, it Hello. is. Hang on, I haven't finished yet. Don't wave your hand about. Thanks for watching last week's video, which was yesterday in the real world, right? So today's Thursday. We're going to have a continuation. Say hello. Hello. A bit more <laughs> excited. I think I didn't know a wave when oh, I was right, the okay. right, Daniel's son wants to show off his. Um, Electrics, which as you can hear, it's charging through the 240. It's tidy because I've just tidied it. You two don't know the meaning because I'm going to start doing the bed lats now, putting the bed frame in, bed lats, bed back, everything. And then he, the GR, can test all the plumbing. Danny's done all the testing on the electric rate. So, are you happy? First time. DC to DC works and everything. DC to DC, straight on 50 amp, boom within seconds. Plugs. The Orion XS. Alt plugs working. Alt plugs working. Lights. Alt plugs working on the inverter and off the hookup okay. when the inverter's off. Alt lights working. That's the, I don't think we did this. We showed the other lights, didn't we? But the uh, max surround thing, that's nice at night time. Tell you what, you haven't done. Reading lights. You haven't done them. <laughs> well, I just noticed then. Well, you have to clamber over back at bed then. Yeah, right, so. You could test for bed to make sure it takes 20 stone, don't you? 20 stone, right. I'm going to start making. Uh, you see me do these the other day. You didn't see me paint them because that's boring, but these are going to go on. And then we use the IKEA frames. So let's get cracking. So, the bed lats are in, all evenly spaced out, because I'm sad, 59.6 millimetres, anyway, so they're all on, all screwed down, easy enough to take out, need to ever get on, uh, get behind it for whatever else, in the future, who knows, who knows. Right, so my next task to try and get this van out the door is I'm going to do a cover. It goes on here so it hides this, but obviously it doesn't interfere with anything. So it's only going to be maybe the same depth as this. So maybe 8 inch or something. So the mattress will just fit in, and then all I'll do is I'll uh, I'll drill it, screw it, and I'll put some of the black caps that we've got. It's just so when you open the door, it's not the you know you don't see that metal bar. So that's my next task. What day is it, Samuel? Friday. Friday. Oh, they're all melted. You know what that means? Home time. We're working tomorrow. Oh yeah. I know I'm not. You sure? Do you, do you want to come in? No. You're walking back, you see, because you know it's <laughs> in your face, do you? I don't want to write up. <laughs> no, I'm going out tomorrow, flying out. Good looking at motorbikes. You want to buy one? No. Tune in to next week's video to see if he kept to his word. Don't need one with that beast. Hmm? Don't need a new one with that beast. Good. Always want shiny shit though, don't you? Yeah, we've got a van that we built for trade they sold it to a customer and 
that is coming in tomorrow to have a awning and a double swivel seat added so me and Sam are coming in early doors to get that sorted and then you what you what are you doing after picking up some awnings no <laughs> that's today what are you doing tomorrow after we finish Just fixing my car oh turbo gone little baby turbo oh yeah oh. well it's Loose inside, so it's yeah, so Sam's got to go like over to his old man's to get his turbo fixed. But Andrew, thank you for saving him. <coughs> Sam's just going to put a little garage light in here. Uh, Rick's just sat down eating crisps. It's you kind of what we do on a that, Friday. I'm trying to keep up with that Mustang, isn't it? What Mustang? Right, no one's got a Mustang. <laughs> this one's back from the mechanical work. This one has had a timing belt. It has had a fresh MOT, it's had all the brake discs and pads, and calipers, bottom arm. And we've also, like I mentioned in the last video, put a roll door shower door on. Now I've got a discount code for you for them, but I'm going to save it for when we do the next one because we'll do a proper installation video because they're fairly simple to do once you've done a few but in my opinion I think they're a, a much better alternative to the timbre doors for the showers Oh, would you believe it? We're in on a Saturday. And I say we, Sam's gone already. Uh, I just thought I'd sh quickly show you. It's been a bit of a week of upgrades, a bit of an upgrades week. So we've had three vans in that we've converted in the past, all come in for little bits and bobs extra uh, and whatnot. So like we mentioned earlier, that's Steve and Mazzy's van. Don't forget Mazzy. Uh, Steve and Mazzy's van, they are that's for a front swivel base, uh, which is coming in this week. This one is a van that we sold to a lovely couple from down at Newark. Uh, it actually got sold through one of our trade suppliers, but uh, they've brought it back. They want a, a awning and a double swivel seat fitting. So we're going to do that for them. And don't forget, we had the van which came in for the, the colour and the shower door doing. So, what are we doing here? Fitting a swivel base, fitting an awning. I'll be honest, awning already done. Me and Sam did that this morning. Sam's had to go get his turbo fixed. And Andrew Clark is sorting it out for him. But yeah, so the awning's on. So that leaves me to do the swivel base. Well, good morning. Monday, again. Look at him getting out of sweeping. What do you mean getting out of sweeping? Good morning, Rick. Morning. Yeah. We've taken all the vans outside. We're leaving. <laughs> we are not leaving. But we've taken all the vans outside and we're going to have a day of sorting, 
tidying everything up, sweeping all the floors. A bit of a reset day, to be honest. We sometimes need to do this, don't we, Rick? Yep. Just have a complete reset. I need to reset my brain. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's time to get rid of a load of crap that's in here that we don't need. Things that we've just kind of hoarded onto over the last year or so. Have a proper reset and then we can get back at it. Looks like Rick's found an easier way to sweep up. Oh yeah, a bit, bit of a funny day today. Just unloaded all that. Nightmare. Amazon man here. Thank you. Sam's up there. How's your legs and your back after unloading all that? Broken. I'm never going to recover from it. <laughs> so Sam's just bolting on the panel and gluing that on. I've just gone round and done the solar cabling. Rick's got an app. What have you been doing? You me? Oh, I know what you've been they doing. know what I've been doing. I've been busy, they know. Carpet or error? Carpeted that. Mm -hmm. yeah, Put the black trim on. Thanks James for cutting it for me already. That made a good, saved about half an hour. And I've just put that on. I mean, they haven't seen that yet. Have they seen bed lats? Yeah, yeah, they've seen the bed lats. But this is the you bed. made them in last week's video, didn't you? I did. Not painting, no. If you want to see last week's video. <laughs> so that's just to stop the mattress from moving about. So I am ceremoniously going to shut these doors. No. So nobody no. can go in it. No, 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 no. You've, you've got to glue that, yeah? yeah? Don't touch this then, yeah? Right. I don't know what he's doing. Where are you? Are you on the roof? Is he there? Front. Ladders are up the other side. Look, Can you see? Side. He's there, look. Wave. Wave up back up, Bob. What is he doing? Oh. <laughs> That's all that ladder. Oh, yeah. No. I don't know that <laughs> anyway, get your cheap, cheap gun out. Oh, there he is, look. Right. So, is that it for today? As in, we'll switch it off because you got mourn last week about all the uh, yeah. editing. You're not going to film anything else, are you? No, probably not. Right, I'm so. Now we Take some pictures. And that's it done underneath. All right, see cool. you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, while I remember, right, before I do that other job, right. Today, this morning, I forgot to put the camera on, but I've done the hob sterling single hob and there's the um, bit of glue on that take that off 
give it a clean. Right, so that's where the uh, power control unit is. The hub has been glued in, and then we've got this sink, which obviously Sam's going to put in the tap and the waste and whatever. That's a snug, snug fit with five mil. I had to take all the worktop off to do it, take the cupboard out, take all that off, try and get it done. It's a bit dark in here at the moment. It's probably better on camera than it is in real life, actually. It looks quite nice. Uh, so yeah, so that's done, that's all ready. So at least we're gonna let that go off and then we can uh, do the electrics and stuff on that one tomorrow. Morning. It's Tuesday. Where did Monday go? Bugging off, that's where it went. Fucking hate Mondays. Right, so we had a busy day of moving stuff around and tidying up. So we have got all the stuff in the corner out of the way. Now, this van is the, it's not open, the black and green one. Yep, that's Steve's and Maz's. Maz needs a mention as well because it's her van as well. Uh, no, hang on, wrong van. No, no, that's Sarah's, that's the one I've been working on, which is the grey and white one. Here's Helen's, which is the black and green. See, we jigged him about that much, I can't remember where they are. That's waiting for a swivel seat, swivel base. And now we have got this big base back in. Big sprinter. Now, uh, this has been in before. This is Stu's van. So part way through it and thanks Stu for disappearing and then coming back with it. I appreciate that because we needed to get a couple of more vans done. But this is a, I don't know what year it is. I think it's, uh, it's got a personal plate on, but it says 09, I would before that. But it's been raptored, raptor painted by Shane at Jungles Travels. That's one of his channels. And what's the other one? Uptown Raptors is in Oldham. Now we're no Shane anyway. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend the man for doing Raptor painting. All the door shuts, jams, everything. Everything's been done to it. Yeah. So, hook him up, give him a shout. Uh, he might be able to sort you out. Yeah, it just looks really good. It's got the rogue all eyes on. Stu put the windows in. And a few other little bits. Right, I'll show you the inside of it. So, I know, we do the outside. So, the door cards, it's like a Alcantara stuff. He wanted to see the, if you've paid for the Raptor, then I'm guessing you want to see it as well. A window blind is made, Stu made that. I did that last time, it's full of carpeted. So this is in the, in the furniture board. He was having like a, obviously his bed. His bed's going across here. Two big wardrobes, uh, two Max fans. The lights are temporary, so we can just see what we're doing. Otherwise, I'm working in the dark and it's not the best. Oops, I'm trying to get that window blind back in. Right, so it's got a big fridge. He's actually been away and it's been France in it and everything since it, it's been like this. He likes his fishing. So he went went France in it, so that's why it kind of disappeared really, but now it's come back. We uh carpeted all the the door uh, the, the, the seats, the seat bases up and over, it's got the shelf in. I'm going to do a big window surround for this, which matches the other one. And then obviously he's done the trimmer. The electrics are only part time, just temporary while they went away. So the tall boy. With all the essentials in like porridge and uh, what are these? Terry's chocolate orange. They might disappear today Stu. I don't know where. And then this is the shower. So, um, he was this one's got a it's, it's got a fixed shower base and toilet in which is our biggest nightmare when we started with because there's a hole there 
that's where the plug sorry that's where yeah that's where the plug waste for the shower goes and underneath there there's maybe like a three inch by three inch hole that we had to hit so everything else has got to be built around that so the shower wall was in first before the bed that's got a timbre hello so you can go in and out timbre door on it what's it catching up there we go and it's having two in the wardrobes as well when I get round to it so trying to get my head back into it trying to think where we're up to uh, I keep saying so and it pisses me off anyway <laughs> I've even forgot what day it is because we've missed probably a day and a half of filming maybe a day maybe half a day when did we last film yesterday morning how many questions can you ask without getting any answers <laughs> Oh. Anyway, we've missed a bit of filming. Wednesday. What have we done in here? What have you done in here, Rick? Apart from Stu being in the way all the time. <laughs> Sam Wheel were in here yesterday sorting plumbing out. Won't you, Sam? Oh, yeah. We did eat them chocolate orange things. Oh, well, nice. Stu provided all of this John Guest 12 mil stuff. Do you prefer the 12 mil or the 15? This stuff is... Keep it PG. That's what I'm trying to... Rubbish. Rubbish. Hate it. Yeah, no, I, we don't like it either. I would suggest to anybody not go for that and go for the standard 15 stuff. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I'd suggest to go for that. One, One. it's easier to work with. And two, it's almost impossible to buy everything that you need You'll always run out of something, and with the 12 mil stuff, you've got to wait for it to come because you can only buy it online. Whereas the 15 mil stuff, you can go to any plumb centre, Wolseley's, screw fix, tool station, B and Q, you name it, you can get it from anywhere. So you can always get it the same day if you run out of a few elbows. So top tip from us. Well, anyway, he's bobbed in all this water system. You say, where's the water heater? But this is running a truma system, so Sam plumbed in all the truma yesterday. And the toilet. So this toilet, you know, like this. Oh, plumbed in flush. Nice. Rick has been doing this frontal for the shower. What are you just getting off there, Rick? I oversized the white plastic. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you on this one. Oh, that's good on, man. So when I'm doing the white plastic, I'll oversize it. And then I'll, so it's cut shorter, and then I'll oversize it by about five mil. <laughs> We're doing some serious filming here, and you coming on your bike? So I did my book it. Where is it? I don't know, you said you put it near the door. I didn't put it near the door, so I fell over it near the door with the wheels and the tyres for the... Uh... Anyway, I oversized it. So when I finally get it in, I can just mark it and then I can cut it. So you end up taking off small strips. So when it's this, instead of it trying to glue onto the plastic, it'll glue onto the timber. Do you know what I mean? That's clever, is that? Well. Not really. And what have I been doing? Electrics as per. So this is for the black and green van, Helen's van. So I just created the board yesterday. She's going to be really pretty. The last one that we did that you saw, that was a four foot bed. This is a bigger bed, so I've got more space. So on this piece here, that's where we're going to have the 240 plugs. And that's the power distribution, that's the inverter. But more, everything's going to be on there by the battery charger, which is going to look lovely in the usual spot there. Definitely, definitely a bitty kind of week. We needed to do what we needed to do on Monday, at getting everything sorted and cleaned and tidied and, and moved about. Uh, got to nip out a couple of, for a couple of bits today. Look at that. We've even got an e-bike and scooter storage. This one's all but done. One of the bits we need, need to do today is collect the cushions. Me and Sam are going to bang the awnings on. This one and Helen's. 
and the swivel base on that one. Listening to Event 7 And then we're going to have to start building this one while Rick's building that one. So it's all go. As easy as that, one on in on, sand wheels up on that one, fitting the brackets. Every vampire bar one in here has now got an awning on, but if you're after a domestic awning and you have a boxer, relay, decato, sprinter, crafter, give us a shout and we can get you one priced up. Daniel Sound. Who, who, who were that catatonia? Cheryl Crow. Oh, very similar. similar kind of Who's this? Who's this strange person? Put it in a grill. <laughs> there you go. Give me a right up. Would you? I've got another electric. It's upside here. down though, you've done it wrong way. Oh, bloody hell. Everything's on upside down. Ready? I'll fix it. I've <laughs> gone against his head. Pull the trigger now, he's dead. Well, we're we're lighting that in here, Stu, health and safety conscious. Oh, that don't be smoking. <laughs> don't be smoking in here. Mama. It's against the law. Just kill the man. In my grill. Like that, we'll get done for copyright. <laughs> in my <me> grill. <laughs> Put window. Right, what's happened in here? Close it. What? It's like. Like one of them cows that drive past, fuck off, it. What's going on in here? Bed's gone on. Ish. So that's nearly ready for wardrobe. That Rick explained earlier. Did I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. About 20 minutes, like when you were explaining <laughs> your hinges the other day. Oi! My brother said, he said, the video were brilliant. He says, Rick yammered on about hinges a bit too long. Really? Tell him not to watch then. Don't yeah, watch. Then if we're yammering, if he don't fast watch, forward. If he don't watch, then we'll have four viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what so I've been doing. Well, this board's all cabled up now. We are just waiting for the inverter to come. So that's a two kilowatt, and this is having a three. Sam. Plumbing again. Still plumbering. But you've got a light in here and everything. I need it. Yeah, you could have plugged a power bank in. I don't need it, I've got my top. Alright, bro. Shall we have a look around here, Sam? Let me get, get it in here. Looks like my screen's gone outside, I can't even see what we're looking at. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. And we've got it all the way around to under the shower. Yeah, boy. Doing a grand job, blood. What have you been up to? Here it is. Right, so, since yesterday, finished that bit. Today, I am on with, I've uh, done this back for the back of the shower. 
Now the grain matches that side. Obviously the bed front will as well that way. Just finished the lid for this. Now I'm trying to save on material because this material is quite expensive. So we've just used some ply carpet that it's going to have bits and pieces on it anyway. So now I'm about to start the wardrobes. So I'm going to put the bed lats in, see what sizes I've got and then design something. Design something that'll go on. Stu's left his chocolates again. But that is about it for today. We haven't done a, oh, I've done the, uh, what do you call it? Truma thingy, Dubichois. What's that called? What? Outlet, that's the word I'm looking for. Apart from that, it's been a bit of a, well, oh, Samuel's not in. So we haven't really missed him. No. I missed him. I, th I think I'll be busier at home though, with it being Jazzy's birthday. Oh, he'll be like, run like a slave, won't he? <laughs> you only to make less of stuff that you wanted him to do. Yeah. Right, well. Yeah. Never mind, that's it for today. That's probably it for this week. Really? I reckon so. That's it for this week. Is this how you feel? It's, it, You're constantly it's, looking when at When I was tits. stood, no, stand up. Stand now this is this is how, how you know. Jesus. So when I'm like holding it there. Yeah. Bad isn't it? You'll look dead tiny, man. Yeah. Right. Say bye bye then. See you next week. Bye bye. See you next week. I do what Sam does. Bye. <laughs> bye. Do a chicken noise. Fuck off. <laughs>